What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Vintage Cube. First pick channel. That's what it's all about. That's what we're doing. That channel is... This is the channel for that. Trying to holler at me. I don't know, dude. Your last opponent. Channel first pick is great because you never have to pass any of the uh, the Eldrazi that you see. And now I got to drill, guys. Again, it was just sitting on my desk, so we'll take Findhorn Elves. I mean, we're obviously being uh, green centric, so you know what? I'll take it. I love me a good Vin Vince aged cube. This is an Eldrillzy. You guys are here for that sweet drill content, I bet. Oh, Eureka? Basically like a channel. Uh, I think we just want Rex Sage. Rex Sage is just so good. There's so many times in the queue where I'm like, I wish I had a way to deal with this artifact or enchantment. And Rex Sage does that for you. Course of Portal's nice. Winter Orb is poops. I want to take Course of Portal. I still don't mind even like channeling into a Course of Portal on turn two with something else. Is it Eldrillzy or is it Drilldrazi? I think it's, oh, actually both of those kind of work. Okay, we'll take a fifth pick Crater Hoof. Sure, why not? Why not? Scrum is a guy who can get no love from me. What about Drill Drillzy? <laughs> Be careful, you wouldn't want a repeat of the... Oh, the hammer incident was... It's just terrible. What's better, Worm Coil or Mind Slaver? If we're, if we're taking 10 off of our channel... Also, Turn Timber Symbiosis is a fine card. Yeah, we're definitely upgrading the tools. Um, I think it's Worm Coil. Oh, Acidic Slime? Sure. Nothing here really does anything for me. Take the Realm Eater just in case. I think it's just so much better than Yavamaya Elder. In fact, I don't even know why Elder's in this cube. I'm going to take Caracas. Lotus Petal and Tenders and Frantic Search. I see. Okay, so now they're like, hey, be, be black green. And I'm like, mm, you know what? Okay. I'm trying to holler at me. The problem with Ostone is that it's worse against the green deck than any other deck in the format. So like you're just killing all of your all of your mana dorks, all of your your board presence, all of your planeswalkers. Okay, this is a fine seven picks, and then it got pretty bad towards the end there. But I also don't think those packs had multiple uh, green things. So, what can you do? Where be the Eldrazi is right. I mean, in lieu of an Eldrazi, I'm definitely just going to take a Mana Vault here. Oh, actually, Rafelos, shit. Dude. <laughs> What's better? One generic, three generic mana once for one mana? Or scaling green mana repeatably if they can't kill it with her fellows? It's actually tricky. The thing is, Rafelos has a tendency to come back. Mana Vault will not come back. I'm going to take the Vault here. It's a very... 
it's something. It's a, it's some kind of pick. I hate Sundering Titan, but I think it might be the pick here. Especially because we have, I mean, specifically because we have channel, not especially, but. Wow, not a single, not a single green card in this pack. Well, that is something. I guess I'll take Shriek Maw in case we end up being black green. Oof. It's just such a bad pack. I want to take Opposition, actually. We have no reason to be black here, but Opposition is a thing, so... These packs have been rough. Skur Tri Builder, I guess, is the best we can ask for. It's a Mirai's Wake or a, a, a Euro, but I'd, I'd still just rather have a Tri Builder here. Search for tomorrow? <laughs> okay. All right, well... There's a bayou. Hangerback Walker, that's the kind of card you want on turn turn two with the channel. I think we're just taking the bayou here just in case. Man, I've never I god like I hate I hate picking a, a turn a turn a first pick channel and then having it like gold it go to shit like this. Duress, I guess, because we're just still in the There we go. There's an Ulamog at least. Good grief. Alright. Oh, the Nissa came back. The Rafella. Well, actually, I think the Rafella's in the next pack. Basalt Monolith also just might be better than Nissa here. I don't hate Batterskull. It's still castable. The Rafellus did not come back. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. Oh, I got that late Yogmoss will. Uh, anything in here that's good? No, not really. Misty Rainforest gets the Bayou. It also keeps us open for opposition. So that's not terrible. Actually, it's probably just Devoted Druid. Let's just take Devoted Druid. I, I don't really foresee us wanting to be in two colors here. Oh, Kozlek. See, now we're talking. I mean, let's be fair to the to the last person who played Channel Kozilek and still lost. I don't foresee that happening super frequently. Eternal Witness, Arbor Elf. I think Arbor Elf's a little better here. We just want to have these one mana dudes. Oh, Primeval Titan, sure. Sure. <laughs> Gotta be better than Woodfall Primus, especially when we have 8, 8, 10, 11. Oh, okay. Well, now we're talking. Yep. All right. So pack three is where the deck really came together, I guess. That's that's where the things really came came together. I don't think I care about Vorinclex. I think I'd also rather have Savannah because if the Misty table or the, if like uh, any any green fetch comes back, we can get Marari's Wake with it. Like a windswept teeth. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's put the Marari's Wake in the deck. It also gets us a Bayou as well. Keep in mind. Take path here. Path actually reasonably playable once we have uh, Winds with Heath Savannah. Oh, woods! Oh, wow! Wooded foot, wooded foothills came back. 
It's actually pretty decent here. Don't care about Knight of the Reliquary. I think it's actually doo-doo. Oh, also the Caracas is now playable. Yeah, all right, sure. Huh, that's interesting. Just take makeshift mannequin, I guess. St oh, wow, Stoneforge, and we have Batter Skull? That's actually pretty cool. Wow, Lion's Eye Diamond and Cabal Ritual, last picks. I don't think Diamond. <laughs> now we have Diamond and Yogmoth as well, guys. I wonder if it's worth just splashing Maelstrom Pulse. We have Bayou and Savannah. Or, uh, Bayou wins up to the Wooded Foothills. We can also put, like, one one Swamp in here from these guys. I think that's probably worth it. Natural Order Sack a Green Creature. I wonder if this is also another Eureka deck. Like, one, two, three, four, five, six cards. Yeah, this is our deck. Make sure everything is good here. We're going to add one swamp and one plains because we have a lot of ways to search for them. Uh, one, one. Well, bring all these in. One, one, nine. So this is 16 lands? Oh, we go one more. One more forest. Yeah, this seems sweet. I mean, Natural Order can get... I mean, the versatility of Natural Order is nice. It can get Acidic Slime, Prime Time, Crater Hoof. Can this please be a title for future Donkey Rider? I don't care about Knight of the Reliquary. I think it's actually doo doo. Uh, it's unlikely that would be a title because it would I would have to actually write about that, <laughs> which I don't foresee happening. Um, yeah, I'll keep this. To so turn two basalt monolith and turn three we have seven mana. I mean, if we can just draw a channel off the top, then we got a game going here. Oh, the, you ordered the Bob Wrestling the same foils by mistake? That's pretty wild. Okay. You got it. One, two, three, four, five, six. That doesn't do it. down here basalt is a way of life 
Is that right? Oh dear. Okie dokie. Well, I'm glad we played a Caracas instead of like a swamp here. Come on, big channels. That's not it. One, two, three, four, six, seven. I mean, next turn we can crater huff for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a threat, right? Yeah, we're just taking seven here. They have one land. Okie dokie. Oh, it's old Grimmy Reno. It's kind of obnoxious. Um... One, two, three, four, six, seven. This is eight mana with Crater Hoof, so we can actually five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put them to nine, which actually eh, it doesn't do a lot. It's not lethal this time, unfortunately. I'm just gonna go keep getting. Because even on next turn, we just get to attack for six, which is just not very good. <laughs> if I had one more creature, it'd be great. Even a 1-1 one -one would be another god infinite damage. So if we had one more 1-1... One -one, It'd be five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. It'd be extra six damage. <laughs> this is very sad. I'm having a sad. Fascinating. Oh, you're just going to kill it in response? Solid strategy. <laughs> Fucking amazing. All right. Seems good. How many black sources is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think this hand does anything. I think this is better. Keep, I'm gonna pitch a white here. Drew it into course of portal seems fine. Microphone seemed a little low there.
gonna save that in case we draw like acidic slime or something we could just kill it immediately the sea chrome coast that is if you guys are watching on twitch or even on youtube definitely consider subscribing to the channel it's a great way to support the content streaming on twitch is one of my uh, main sources of of income and uh survivability and uh, if you have an amazon prime account you can link it with twitch and it's free what more could you ask for I like that. Okay. Homage. Homaggio. Oh, that's nice. I like that. <clears throat> Show me what you've got. Path and Oblivion Ring. Let's get rid of... <sighs> Oblivion Ring is manageable. Like, we can deal with an Oblivion Ring. And an Emery. Yeah, let's get rid of the Path. I mean, without knowing their hand, I feel a lot worse about playing Worm Coil Engine, so... What's that artifact on the battlefield? Are you referring to a course of portal? When do your secret layer basic lands get shipped? Jesus, not until like April, I think. Yep, that's a fucking really good draw. Is it carnage time? Let's carnage. Did they play an island? They apparently did not want a carnage there. Oh good, two lands. That'll get me that'll beat an Elspeth. Yep. Good, good, good. We're not cracking our windswept teeth because we saw Sundering Titan and I don't want them to Sundering Titan and kill our like forest, swamp, and then leave us with no black sources or like plains, forest, swamp, and leave us with no black or white sources. So. Yep, we have drawn one, two, three, four, five cards, two, five, six, seven, eight spells in vintage, or eight lands in vintage cube. Seems good. Today is just not my day, I guess. You know, some days you go 3-0 and three separate drafts, and then other days you actually uh, literally can't catch a fucking break. So today is just the can't catch a fucking break day. Gonna keep voting Carnage. Maybe they'll misclick. That would be cool. Oh, Acidic Slime. Okay, well... Where's a Woodfall Primus when you need it? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. What do we have? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana? We basically have like one turn to deal with this Elspeth before she pops off and starts floating away. Oh, I got a Consecrated Sphinx in their deck. This seems like a completely different deck than the previous deck they just played. <sighs> cool. So I think we're just dead. Make three, next turn your ultimate. Yep, cool. Fun game. That was sweet. I had a great time. 
First turn, get tinkered into Sundering Titans. Second turn, top deck in Elspeth and literally draw five lands in a row. Magic is a cool fucking game, man. 75% of the time, you're not playing. Good stuff. So it's been a good it's been a good day for vintage cube drafts. Oh, good times. Unfortunately, while I do appreciate looking dapper AF, it does not pay my bills. <laughs> uh, so I was just keeping this hand in hopes we draw a channel. This seems better. Oh, good. We're playing against the Storm deck. I'm sure nothing can go wrong on turn three. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, goody. They have the perfect land trifecta too. No matter which one we hit, they will still have uh, all their all their colors, all the colares. Got five mana here. I feel like it's just got to be this, right? I think we're dead. Yeah, that's actually fine. Oh, what up, Wallace Ray? I mean, unless they're the, the turn they need is this one, and then we're just going to be like, okay.
with Arena. Oh my god, they just really whiff? Oh, that's phenomenal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. Well. I think we're just getting rid of their second... Actually, what do I have to fear? They've already gotten rid of Yogmoth's will. Next time we can just play Ulamog? Let's get a Caracas and a Savannah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ho, 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 ho. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna do some shenanigans here. Oh, a Pester Mite. Are we just gonna are we just gonna die to that now? That's actually kind of funny. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. We're one away. Take him off a triple red at least. Mine's a desire for one deal. <laughs> That'll do, pig. Okie dokie. All right. Well, now that we know you're the bad man. Let's bring in relevant cards. I think that's the only relevant card. I uh, still kind of want Maelstrom Pulse for the Baral. Shriekma's also probably fine for the Baral. Path is good if they are trying to uh, shenanigan us. Eureka could be very good in this matchup. Let's take out Stoneforge Batter Skull. The sand seems bad. It doesn't do anything. I'm going to keep this and put this guy back. There's several things we can draw here. I also don't want to go to five. So let's see if we can hit a channel or Eureka. Those are the things. Because I don't think their deck is particularly fast. Natural order would also be fine, I guess. Maybe. I mean, I have primeval Titan in hand. You don't really want to hit a crater hoof, so... They're missing bluesels. A white source next turn gives us a Mirari's Wake, which actually puts us in really good position. Didn't do anything. That's not a white source.
It's where they pester might into Kiki Jiki? Impulse. Okay. Seems good. Well, Primeval Titan next turn is pretty decent. Here comes a Brawl. Preordain. Sure. Placid Laughter. You said that three minutes ago, so you're probably gone. But if not, have a good night, buddy. Are they going off here? Or are they just filter in their hand a little bit. I guess we'll find out. Coca-Cola Gons Command. Yes, let's get Caracas because it's versatile and Savannah. So now we can go... One, two, three, four, five. Have four mana up, keep up path. And then follow it up with either one of these fat daddies. Oh, here we go. The Ogmoths will uncrack the diamond. Dark ritual. Ooh. I think we're dead. They've crafted the perfect hand. Okay, but they don't have they don't have a win con yet so they have to hit it off of like preordained impulse or charter course so four five six seven eight nine cards all right that's pretty good I mean this is an absolutely ideal ideal storm turn right here. They just cast Languish. Colagon's command? Did they really whiff and they're just going to play... Brain Freeze? Watch, they're going to Brain Freeze and we have both of our Eldrazi in our hand. You ready? Okay. What just happened? Okay, so this actually does nothing because they have no instants or sorceries in their graveyards. Yeah, that's pretty good. Do they have storm cards in their deck? Um, that's actually frustrating. They're just going to get like acidic slime here and kill Marari's Wake. That's really frustrating.
going for greater hope would be phenomenal. Do it. This is really taking a while. Oh, look, they got acidic slime and they killed Mirari's wake. Exactly how we drew it up. Thank you. You got it. <laughs> it's unfortunate. Got to kill Savannah and Swamp, but I guess it's still a... S doesn't even feel worth it, to be honest with you. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because they just get to trade with with acidic slime. Oh, we killed their swamp. Actually, yeah, you're right. We only lose savanna and forest. That's actually better than I, th I thought. It's gonna be it's just mine's desire for one. Oh, are they gonna hold it? No, they're gonna play their land first. And crack it. Okay. You cannot pick Savannah twice. Yeah, that's fine. Hmm. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll go down to six. We monolith. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We just play this. We get to kill forest, savanna, land, 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 land. I mean, I just think it's better to wait one more turn and basalt monolith them. Or, uh, Kozlek or Ulamog here. We can only crack two of their dual lands, the underground and the steam vents. Black Cleave Cliffs is not. Does not have mana type. One, two, three, four, five. So we can actually just play Ulamog. I want to keep Caracas up because I want to be able to bounce the Ulamog if they try any shenanigans. Like if they have the treachery or if they have control magic. <laughs> sure. Fascinating. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This should be the end, right? Uh, one, two, three. Uh, gotta be Savannah. Yeah, it just unclicks it. You, there's no way you can. You can't choose the same land twice. This guy's indestructible, bro. What are you going to do about that? Make a copy. Kill Caracas. Okay. It did not say it, it did not say done. It unselected the the savanna. All right, so they have no blue, which is nice, because now we don't have to worry about, like, control magic or treachery. Yeah, 
Yeah, this shows the Savannah clicked with a blue outline on it. And then it says cancel. And then... Uh, what is it? Choose one of each type. That's really weird. Wait, can you click the same land? That doesn't make any sense. What? Can you choose the same land for... I've never seen that done in my entire... If a land is more than one basic type, it can be chosen more than... What? Dude, I've never seen that done. That's insane. You just blew my mind. My mind is absolutely blown. That's crazy, dude. No, Overlook, that's actually really crazy. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, it does say 8 7 2020, which is very recent. What? No, but like here's a here's an here's a MTG Salvation post from 2014. Remember, you can pick the same land twice. If it has multiple types. What? That's insane. I feel like I've, I feel like I just learned something about Sundering Titan that I've never known in my life. And I'm kind of like, kind of like blown away, to be quite honest. That's insane. I bet I've been, I can only wonder how many of my own lands I've blown up more than once. Like I'd have a steam vents and I'd be like, well, I got blow. Cause you never do that to the opponent's lands, right? Like if they have steam vents, watery grave and Island, you're never going to pick like the steam vents twice, <laughs> you know? Uh, Matthew, we just learned that you can target your same land multiple times with Sundering Titan. Like if you have a Savannah, you can use the one Savannah to, to fulfill the criteria of the planes and the forest. I literally had no idea. I've never done that. If you guys didn't know about that, definitely let me know in the comments because that's insane. I feel like I feel like I've never done that in my life. I feel like MTG hasn't allowed that before. That's weird, man. I played many times with Sundering Titan. I've never done that too. Um, we're definitely keeping this hand. Like, that's so weird. I wish I can go back and see games with Sundering Titan and see what I did. But it's hard to, like, you, you can't put yourself in that situation. You know what I mean? Like, because you're not playing the game, you have no way to, like, tell me to sell. I can't be like... Hey, old previous past Frank, go select that that land twice and see if it works. Like, there's actually no way to to know unless I like ask Magic Online and be like, "Hey, did you guys change this recently?" That's insane. Like, I feel like I would have, like, I feel like it would have come up before. I've 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 done I've done like a million vintage cubes, so it's like I feel like this would have. That's. Cr I've also never seen my opponent do it either, right? Like, I've never seen them select a steam vents to fulfill like the island and the mountain criteria. Oh, I guess you're not selecting it twice. That's interesting. 
Interesting, dude. That's so weird. <laughs> Do we channel on turn two for a course of portal? Can we draw an Ulamog? That'd be cool. More like, fuck. <laughs> so discouraging, man. Come on. Well, I gotta, I'm gonna take your channel. I mean, it's either channel or core support. Maybe they just take the core support because they're like, it's the only thing you can play. Yep, didn't think so. <laughs> didn't think they'd want to risk that. Yeah, of course. Well, we're going to get a Swampums. And then we're just going to play Course of Portal. <laughs> he chose Poli. Oh, Philo, you just blew my mind, dude. My mind is absolutely blown. Wide open. I got that wide open mind now. You just gave me some galaxy galaxy brain nonsense. Okay, cool. Uh, let's get our one swamp. Let's play Karinus. And we'll go to your turn and make you... That'll be one burning throat book, please. <laughs> oh, Flo, appreciate you, buddy. Yeah, we're definitely bouncing this. You can replay that if you'd like. Sundering Titan's on the sideboard. Sundering is in our main deck, bro. We have channel. We're going to have every artifact. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Strip mine. Always a pleasure. Like, we literally just cast it last game. How would it be in the sideboard? I don't know what you're talking about. Antibody, sometimes I think you're going crazy. <laughs> so you had a target for Master Ryan's acquisition. Wow. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we have eight total mana. I'm going to reveal a path to exile. Well, they didn't, and they took four, so that's pretty okay. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Sure. Oh, look at that. You voted for my guy. Sounds good. Must be nice. Remember that time they took my channel and I... Thank you. Had a wreck sage in my hand, couldn't do anything with it. Oh, barcode, thank you for the resub, buddy. 20 months. Welcome back, my dude. Good old barcode. That's your boy. Hey, it's your boy barcode. I've oh, got a planes. Uh, kind of just blocking the Confidant here. I mean, we can just cast the Batter Skull. It's not a huge deal. You got it. Did they play their, their planes? All right, so we don't know any of those cards. Tell me I am learning Thank you. 
nine mana. I guess we'll do this guy. Oh, goody. Mmm, goody. Well, I guess if we hit a land, we can Kozilek, and that's kind of cool. <laughs> oh, it's like a land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, one, two, three, four, five... Portale and Findhorne. Are we dead? We take two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we gain four. Who knows? <laughs> cool. Cool deck. Super cool deck. All right, bring in this guy. Bring in Shrieky McMalzerton. Didn't see anything for Rex Sage. I mean, Sorolf actually seems pretty decent. Is that a Skyclave apparition? Take out Sundarino. Take out Natural Order and we'll keep Eureka because what the heck. Uh, this seems good. <laughs> Turn to Stoneforge. Fingers crossed, they don't have strip mine, I guess. We're going to lead with forest, though, because if they kill any land, it'd rather be the forest, because we have lots of forest to replace it with. Oh yeah, oh yeah, give it to me. Uh, I will not block. You got it. Mana Vault. M -m -m Mana Vault. Hmm. You got it. Bounce this little shit. Hmm. So we can Maelstrom Pulse the tokens when they play a million of them, or we can just kill the Bob. I would also just trade all of these for... I think Course of Portal puts enough pressure on them to be worth it because if they have like Council's Judgment, then they have to actually kill the Course of Portal. Gonti? Sure. Hmm. 
Would love another green source here. I guess we do get to draw two. That also works. I mean, if they want to spend four every turn to cast Gonti, that's totally fine. I'm going to play Finhorn Elves because they draw, like, Strip Mine or something. I don't really feel like... Uh... I don't really feel like not having a green on tap, so. Uh, we have one black up, so we're just gonna F6, let them do whatever they like. Sure. Okie dokie. Land. Oh my god. So what do we have? Four mana? I guess we could play Wake here. Attack with Stoneforge and Germ. Stoneforge gets blocked. Not ideal. So, bounce this, play this. We have three left over for. Oh, Worm Coil is not an equipment, no. <laughs> just, yeah, totally. Totally an equipment. The question is do I want to trade here? I think it's actually fine. Okie dokie. Well, that makes it. I'm much more willing to just play Mirari's Wake. I mean, I don't think we're going to be untapping with Mirari's Wake, but what can you do? Here comes Rex Sage. Oh, Vindicate. Oh, Vindicate the Batter Skull. Interesting. Okay, this seems much worse than getting rid of the Mari's Wake. How is that the best play? Okay. Well, that's a thing. <laughs> right. All right. Primeval Titan as well. Hmm. Well... That's not the one I wanted. Oh no. That's still probably fine, I guess. Um, we're gonna use two of these, one and one. Two, three, four. Oh, Eureka's very interesting here. They have four cards, one of which is a mana vault. I, I think this is completely correct. Uh, this guy. Mm, this guy. Uh, this guy. Sure. This guy. And this guy. Uh, 
let's kill eh, one of the flyers. Seems fine. Lodestone Golem. Yes. Let's get Savannah and Bayou. Um, we don't have a black source up anymore, which is kind of unfortunate, but that's just fine, I guess. We do have to deal with one Elspeth hit. So, they have one card in hand. And so do we. Well, we have infinite lands. <laughs> Okie dokie. So what is this? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We go to four. It has been a tough day. No fucking joke. You ain't kidding. Carnage? Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> hey guys, we're out of lands. That's okay. You'll draw lands anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that's too much. Eight, ten. Let's draw four, go to three cards in our library. Uh, okay, so this is actually pretty good. Oh, that's indestructible, though. That's unfortunate. Let's figure out what we're doing here. Do, 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 do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah, we definitely have enough mana for all of it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We'll keep one black. Let's get rid of the Elspeth. We'll use a Skyclave Apparition to get rid of Kithian. Kill these idiots. And we'll pass the turn with two Eldrazi. And a Caracas. This is actually fine, because now we get to block three of... Oh, this is like a 4-4. Four, four. Cool. Literally lose to our own fucking Crater Hoof. That's incredible, man. I'm actually blown away. Thanks for watching, guys. And, uh...
I'll see you later.